Welcome again, uh, Arturo, Stefan, welcome again. Welcome, Ayas. Welcome, Arturo and Stefan, welcome again, guys. Mm. Mm, hello. So, uh, all of you, uh, please, uh, all you can <clears throat> let me know. Uh, do you all have a concept of uh, oxidation and reduction? Students? Should we start now? Yeah, you can start. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so we were, uh, we were reading about the structure of adenine and triphosphate. It is an uh, uh, nitrogenous base adenine, and uh, this is the uh, five carbon uh, ring of ribose, and this is the uh, phosphate bond, uh, three phosphate atoms are connected in a chain. So when they combine with each other, they make a, a molecule that is called adenosine triphosphate. Now uh, we will uh, study about the uh, synthesis of ATP molecule that we studied here, how it uh, can be produced uh, in several processes. Uh, we, uh, we, um, we talked uh, here that uh, there are the four process uh, that can generate the ATP molecules. Uh, the one is glycolysis, uh, other is pyruvic acid oxidation, and uh, the third one is Krebs cycle, and the last one is respiratory chain. So now we will discuss uh, continually uh, how and where the ATP formation occur in all these process. So the first one is glycolysis. Glyco mean monosaccharides, mainly it is glucose molecule uh, in our food and the lysis uh, mean breakdown. The breakdown of uh, glucose molecule uh, is called as glycolysis and this process occur in the cytoplasm of the cell. Glycolysis occur uh, in the presence or absence of oxygen. It can be uh, occurred in, uh, in absence of oxygen or in the presence of oxygen. The end product always pyruvic acid uh, that is equal to the half of the glucose molecule. And all enzyme uh, such as coenzyme NAD, uh, nicotinamide, adenine dinucleotide and ATP are 
present in the cytosol always. There are two phases of glycolysis. Uh, the one is preparatory phase and the other is oxidative payoff phase. Preparatory phase uh, is a phase uh, where the glucose molecule is uh, prepared to, uh, for the breakdown. While in the oxidative phase, uh, we uh, generate an ATP molecule from the uh, product. Here, uh, how many number of ATP, uh, ATP molecules are produced in the glycolysis? Uh, ATP utilize two that were used in the preparatory phase, uh, while ATP formed in number of four that uh, produce in the oxidative phase, while the net gain, net gain uh, can be obtained by uh, subtracting the uh, ATP utilized uh, from the uh, ATP formed. So the net production of ATP is two in the glycolysis, while uh, NADH form uh, two in numbers. Here is the process. Uh, uh, there we will discuss uh, about the uh, utilization of ATP molecule and the production of ATP molecules with the NADH. So this is the glucose molecule uh, and uh, it is a, a food particle. Uh, when hexokinase Okay, uh, so uh, this is the glucose molecule. Uh, when a hexokinase, this is an enzyme. When hexokinase act on the glucose molecule, it add one phosphate molecule into the glucose and uh, it form glucose six phosphate. It doesn't mean uh, it have six phosphate uh, atoms. It means that it has one phosphate molecule on the sixth carbon. So the glucose that is uh, acted by the hexokinase produce glucose 6 phosphate another enzyme isomerase act on the glucose 6 phosphate and form an isomer of the glucose 6 phosphate into fructose 6 phosphate phosphate this uh, this glucose 6 phosphate and fructose 6 phosphate both are isomer of each other next uh, another uh, enzyme Phosphofructokinase act on the fructose 6 phosphate and uh, add another molecule of phosphate into the fructose 6 phosphate and form a fructose 1 6 bisphosphate. <clears throat> now, uh, this uh, fructose uh, 1 6 uh, bisphosphate uh, molecule break down into two products. The one is glycerol. Aldehyde 3 phosphate and other one is dihydroxy acetone and uh, aldehyde phosphate. The other product, uh, dihydroxy uh, acetone aldehyde phosphate, will be converted into the same glycerol aldehyde 3 phosphate molecule. And then uh, the cycle begins in the uh, same phase. The production of uh, fructose 1, uh, 1 6 bisphosphate is called as preparatory phase. From glucose to fructose 1,6 bisphosphate, the process is called as preparatory phase. While uh, from the fructose 1,6 bisphosphate to pyruvate, uh, pyruvate is called as payoff phase or oxidative phase. <clears throat> Here's a uh, glycerol aldehyde 3 phosphate is converted into 1,3 diphosphoglycerate by the act of NAD. NAD is a <coughs> coenzyme and it is reduced into the NADH. <coughs> mean it, it, it is gaining an electron from this particle or this is from, the, uh, from this molecule. Now uh, this molecule is converted into the 1,3-diphosphoglycerate and then acted uh, uh, the first, uh, the one molecule of uh, the one uh, phosphate molecule is <clears throat> removed from this molecule and it forms the one ATP. While uh, the second molecule occurring in the same uh, consecutively uh, with, uh, with him. So another ATP molecule is formed. So uh, here, uh, uh, <coughs> so here 
that's why uh, he write two ATP molecules. Uh, so uh, the one ATP molecule uh, ATP was uh, reduced from this molecule, and uh, this will form three phosphoglycerate. Another uh, enzyme that will act on this molecule and form a two phosphoglycerate, and at the last phospho in all uh, phospho in all pyruvate will form uh, by the reduction of water molecules, and uh, at the last pyruvate will form by the uh, production of two ATP molecules. From a uh, phospho in all pyruvate to pyruvate, two molecules of ATP are formed and from the 1,3-diphosphoglycerate, two ATP molecules are forming. So, uh, in, the, uh, prepare, uh, in the preparatory phase, we are utilizing two ATP molecules, while in the uh, payoff phase, we are getting two ATP molecules here and two ATP molecules are here. So uh, we are getting four ATP molecules from the uh, payoff phase while in the uh, preparatory uh, phase, we are utilizing ATP molecules. So uh, this is the final product of uh, glio, uh, <coughs> sorry uh, so pyruvate is the final product of glycolysis that's why we write here uh, the end product of glycolysis is pyruvate always the <coughs> next step after the uh, glycolysis is the link reaction. Link reaction always occur in the cytoplasm but near to the mitochondria. Uh, this is also called as pyruvic acid oxidation. This means uh, uh, the oxygen molecule also act on this pyruvate and will convert it, it into another molecule of acetate. So uh, the uh, pyruvate that form in the uh, glycolysis do not enter in the Krebs cycle directly. It have to convert into the uh, two carbon acetic acid uh, uh, by the removal of carbon dioxide from it. So uh, when uh, we are removing a carbon dioxide from it, it will form an uh, two carbon acetic, uh, acetic acid molecule by the reduction of NAD. So it will form NADH. Uh, pyruvate, uh, <clears throat> uh, in the previous slide, we, uh, we said that ATP is used in the ATP is used in the uh, exocytosis process or endocytosis process. So, when the pyro, uh, pyruvate uh, will enter into the mitochondrial membrane, there will be the use of energy. And that energy will be uh, uh, will come from the these ATP molecules. So to convert pyruvate and uh, it uh, and for the entrance of pyruvate into the mitochondrial membrane, we have to utilize ATP molecules. So there are two pyruvate and uh, there are, there will be two ATP molecules utilized here. Uh, and uh, when the carbon dioxide molecules will be removed from it, it will form acetate molecule. Then it will uh, combine with the acetyl uh, coenzyme CoA and form an acetyl CoA molecule. Then this acetyl CoA molecule will enter into the mitochondrial membrane and uh, uh, products of uh, link reactions are to NADH. Uh, here, uh, one pyruvate will form one NADH, while the, uh, another pyruvate will form another NADH. This process also occurs in the uh, cytoplasm, but near uh, near to the mitochondria. Uh, the next step is uh, Krebs cycle. Uh, this is the main phase where the ATP of energy uh, currency unit is mainly formed. 
<laughs> it is also known as citric acid cycle or tricarboxylic acid cycle. Uh, the citric acid cycle uh, that uh, the name uh, that's why because uh, the first product of Krebs cycle is citric acid. That's why it is also called as citric acid cycle or tricarboxylic acid cycle. This process occur into the mitochondrial matrix within the matrix of mitochondrial membrane. And this is a cyclic process uh, occur in a low form. And uh, here is a precursor molecule is called as oxaloacetate. The first product of is citrate having a six carbon. That's why we call it citric acid cycle. Uh, first two step uh, are isomeric conversion. Uh, we will see in the the uh, in this uh, cycle. Uh, this is the acetyl CoA that is entering into the mitochondrial matrix, uh, and the first product is citrate. That's why we, uh, we called it citric acid cycle. And uh, in the first two step, uh, there will be the removal of carbon dioxide. Uh, so uh, that's why we called it uh, oxidative decarboxylation process. Removal of two carbon uh, molecules consecutively, that's why we called it oxidative decarboxylation process. Uh, Product of Krebs cycles are NADH, FADH2, and ATP molecules. From Krebs cycle, uh, three, <coughs> uh, three uh, NADH are formed per Krebs cycle. Uh, the Kre uh, per Krebs cycle means a single loop that uh, that is coming from the single pyruvate molecules. And FADH2 uh, are formed one in number per uh, Krebs cycle, while the ATP formed uh, one in number per Krebs cycle. This is a Krebs cycle that will uh, start from the citrate and end with the oxaloacetate. So uh, when the acetyl-CoA enter into the mitochondrial membrane, uh, the water molecule hydrolyze it and it form citrate. Uh, the acetyl-CoA combine with the oxaloacetate and form citrate molecule and citrate uh, converted into the isomeric form that is isocitrate. Isocitrate. <coughs> isocitrate is converted into the alpha ketoglutrate molecule by the decarboxylation of carbon dioxide molecules. Another molecule of carbon dioxide is removed and it forms succinyl CoA molecule. That's why we said here that uh, removal of two carbon dioxide molecules consecutively is called as oxidative decarboxylation. So when the succinyl uh, CoA molecule will form, it will generate a single molecule of ATP from the GTP. This is a uh, guanosine triphosphate molecule that will uh, form the ATP molecule from the uh, ADP molecule. And the succinyl CoA molecule will be converted into the succinate. And so from the succinate to malate, these all are the isomer of each other. Uh, succinate is converted into the fumarate. Uh, here will be the production of FADH2 molecule occur, while uh, fumarate is converted into the malate, and both of these are also are isomer of each other. And from the succinate to oxaloacetate, all molecules have four carbon atoms in them, while citrate has six carbon, isocitrate also has six carbon, while the alpha ketoglutrate also have five carbon atom in it, uh, because uh, here one carbon dioxide molecule have already removed. The last <coughs> process uh, is the oxidative phosphorylation and the electron transport chain. The electron transport chain occur on the mitochondrial inner membrane. Uh, 
this is <clears throat> This is a mitochondria, and here is it is a mitochondrial matrix, and this is the inner membrane of mitochondria. So uh, the oxidative phosphor uh, phosphorylation process uh, occur on this membrane, and this membrane is shown here like that. This is the inner mem um, inner membrane of mitochondria having ATP synthesis, while the other molecules uh, such as uh, complex uh, cytochrome A, B, C, and all of these. So the oxidative phosphorylation means uh, addition of phospho, uh, phosphate group with the help of oxygen. And this process occur in the mitochondrial inner membrane, also called as respiratory chain. This consists of different enzyme, coenzyme Q, uh, cytochrome B, A, C, and A and A3. While each next enzyme oxidizes the former enzyme. So uh, the uh, one minute. So the uh, enzyme will be here will be oxidized by the next coenzyme and this will be oxidized by the next coenzyme and this enzyme will be oxidized by the another next coenzyme so that's why each next enzyme will be oxidized by the former coenzyme products of oxidative phosphorylations are atp water molecule and oxygen molecule This is the inner membrane of mitochondria. So how electron uh, will uh, transfer uh, from here to the uh, ATPA synthesis and how the energy of ATP synthesis, uh, ATPA uh, will form. So when a water molecule break down into the matrix of mitochondria, this is the uh, inner, uh, inner membrane space that is this is the inner membrane space and this is the matrix and this is the inner membrane of mitochondria. The proton that will uh, form here by the hydrolysis of water molecule will be uh, sent into the inner membrane space of the mitochondria that is here. This is the matrix and where the water molecule will be hydrolyzed here and uh, this proton will be sent into the inner membrane space of the mitochondria. The, uh, the, <clears throat> the transfer of a proton from the matrix to inner membrane space will form a, a gradient of a hydrogen atom on the, uh, in the inner membrane space of the uh, mitochondria that will generate a high electro uh, potential of hydrogen atom in uh, between these membrane. So uh, there will be a high gradient of uh, proton atoms and there will be the uh, negative gradient of uh, electron. So uh, we always say uh, the molecules always move from the higher to lower concentration. So uh, these proton, when uh, grow in numbers, they will move from the higher to lower concentration by the ATP synthesis and their energy uh, of uh, uh, moving from higher to lower uh, will be converted into the ATP molecule. Uh, so this is the electron that is moving from the complex one to complex two, complex uh, two to complex three, and uh, alternatively in the other process. <coughs> Here is the calculation of ATP formation. Uh, how many number of uh, uh, ATP are formed in the Krebs cycle uh, in the glycolysis and the link reaction while in the electron transport chain? <coughs> uh, we say that one ATP molecule uh, formed per cycle of the, uh, in the Krebs cycle. In Krebs cycle, when, uh, when a single pyruvate molecule enter into the mitochondria, 
when a single molecule of pyruvate enter into the uh, mitochondria only a single atom of uh, in, uh, only a single molecule of atp formed so uh, per glucose molecule <coughs> krebs cycle uh, krebs cycle uh, run twice so the net gain of atp will be 2 uh, from one pyruvate only one atp will form when the second pyruvate will enter this will form second atp molecules so uh, how many number of nadh formed in the krebs cycle that is here uh, the first nadh molecule formed from the isocitrate to alpha ketoglutarate and the second nadh formed from the alpha ketoglutarate to succinyl coa molecules and uh, the last uh, uh, NADH formed from the malate to oxaloacetate formation. So there are total three number of NADH forming from the per Krebs cycle. So when the second molecule of pyruvate will enter into the Krebs cycle, that will be the second cycle. So total number of NADH will be six, uh, three from the single pyruvate and three from the another single pyruvate. In glycolysis, uh, we say that only uh, four number of NADH formed. Here. Uh, this is the uh, single process. And we say that there will be a two molecule, uh, this arrow showing. There are two molecules of uh, gl uh, glycerate aldehyde. 3 phosphate. So, uh, conversion of one molecule is producing uh, one, NAD, uh, one NADH, while the conversion of second molecule is producing another molecule of NADH. So, two are forming here and other two are forming from, uh, from the here. So, total number of NADH forming uh, four and uh, while the uh, production of ATP are totally four. In uh, ATC mean electron transport chain. Uh, so total number of NADH formed in the uh, electron transport chain are 10. How uh, it is? Uh, we say that uh, uh, 6 NADH, uh, NADH are coming from the Krebs cycle uh, while the uh, 4 NADH com uh, coming from the glycolysis. So 6 and 4 plus 10. We have total number of NADH are 10. And one NADH uh, gives three ATP molecules. <clears throat> so if uh, a one NADH molecule is giving three ATP molecules, then uh, number of total number of uh, NADH will give uh, will give us a uh, thirty ATP molecule. Uh, and we have total FADH molecule in the electron transport chain number uh, two. Uh, so one uh, FADH give two ATP molecules and we have total two number of uh, FADH2. So two into two will uh, form four, uh, only four ATP molecules will form by the FADH2. So uh, the net gain of ATP from the uh, glycolysis uh, are only two number of ATP molecules. And from the, AT, uh, from the Krebs cycle, we are getting two ATP molecules from this process here. This is from succinyl CoA to succinate. We are getting a single ATP molecule per pyruvate molecule. While another, uh, when come into the Krebs cycle, this also form the second ATP molecule. So the total number of uh, ATP that form in a whole process will be uh, will produce thirty eight ATP molecules. <clears throat> While uh, the two ATP uh, we said that have been utilized in the preparatory phase here. 
we have used uh, the 1 ATP to convert glucose into glucose 6-phosphate and other ATP molecule to convert ATP uh, to convert fructose 6-phosphate into fructose 1,6 this phosphate. So we are using two ATP molecules here. So we will minus uh, it from total number of ATP molecule. So the gross production of ATP molecule in the uh, respirations are 38 in number, while the net production of ATP molecule is only 36. While in bacteria, uh, no utilization of uh, ATP molecules occur in the preparatory phase. So that form only 38 ATP molecule totally. This is the respiratory quotient uh, and how we calculate it. This is the mole of carbon dioxide formed per mole of oxygen consumption called respiratory quotient. What is it actually? It is, uh, this is the glucose molecule and uh, this is the oxygen molecule. This oxygen molecule is, uh, is utilized to uh, convert the glucose molecule into carbon dioxide and water. So this process is a respiration process that occur into the cell. So uh, this oxygen molecule is consumed by the glucose molecule and forming a product of carbon dioxide and water molecule. So uh, we said that respiratory question about consumption of oxygen in a single process, how we can calculate that, how many number of uh, oxygen molecule, what is the ratio, uh, what is the ratio of uh, conversion of uh, oxygen molecule into the uh, carbon dioxide molecule. So the, uh, this is a totally a balanced uh, equation and uh, uh, we are uh, we are seeing that there are six molecule of carbon dioxide are forming in the product side while there are six number of oxygens are uh, utilizing in the substrate or reactant side. So uh, this is the aerobic respiration for glucose. What is uh, the formula of a respiratory question? It is a mole or molecules of carbon dioxide that is forming in the product side over the mole or molecules of oxygen that taking in, in the process or in the consumption of oxygen uh, glucose molecule. So uh, we will place uh, carbon dioxide on the upper side and while uh, oxygen to the uh, lower side and uh, divide both of these and uh, we will get just one uh, 1.0 because uh, six oxygen molecules are producing on the product side while the six molecules of oxygen are uh, consumed by the uh, glucose molecules on the reactant side. So six by six is a one and this will be changed uh, for different uh, process uh, such as we can say that lipids and uh, uh, carbohydrates and uh, protein. Uh, the proteins uh, give us a huge amount of energy uh, while the lipids also, uh, while uh, the lipids uh, give us a huge amount of energy from uh, carbohydrates and proteins. Uh, maximum amount of energy comes from the lipids, uh, while the second number is uh, for protein and then is the number of uh, carbohydrates. This is all about uh, respirations and uh, if you have any question, you can let me know. <coughs> Hey guys, if you have some question, um, <laughs> get um, send it to the teacher. He's going to respond. Okay. Okay, Miss. Okay. You can continue, uh, teacher. If anyone have question, uh, you can ask me freely. No, you can continue. Nobody have a okay. question. 
Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> the next topic is about endocrine system. What is an endocrine system is? This is uh, the system of production of hormones. Uh, when the hormones are produced in the body, there are two uh, paths for the uh, uh, for for the transportation of hormones. Uh, the one is ductless, while the other is ducted uh, hormones system. Uh, when the hormones are transported by the duct system, uh, this is called as endocrine system. Endo means in, and crine means the ducted system. So uh, the hormones that are transported by the duct gland are called as endocrine system of or endocrine glands. What are the main function of endocrine systems? It releases hormones into the blood uh, to a signals other cells to behave in the certain ways. It is a slow but widespread form of communication. Uh, it is a, uh, the endocrine system <clears throat> is a main uh, gland uh, for, uh, in our body that on We had way again, uh, guys, um, because the teacher have a uh, some trouble with the connection. Okay, just wait. Okay. Do you hear me, guys? Yes. Okay, just two, three minutes. Sorry, there was a interruption. Okay, uh, hormones are chemicals that release in one part or they travel to the bloodstream and affect the activities of cell into the other part of the body. So we can say that if a reaction is taking place in our hand or in our kidney or in our liver, so the hormone will be uh, secreted from the anterior pituitary or the hypothalamus of the brain and uh, trap from uh, trap the blood and will reach uh, to the active, uh, their activity site of kidney liver or any other that uh, will be affected by the uh, the endocrine and have a major gland one of uh, one of from them is a pituitary gland One of uh, them from is pituitary gland, and it is called as uh, it have two lobes. Uh, the one in lobe, while uh, another is a posterior lobe. Uh, 
this is the interior front side of the uh, on the front side of the brain while this is on the back side of the brain uh, it's also called as posterior lobe and there is a middle lobe between of uh, between both of them uh, function of pituitary gland is to screen nine hormones directly regulate functions of the other gland uh, the uh, pituitary gland secrete a hormones that control the other glands to secrete and secretions in the blood cells what are the disorder uh, too much growth production uh, in childhood can result into the different disease maybe that is gangrenism or uh, dwarfism or maybe acromegaly these all diseases are due to the uh, overproduction or maybe the hyperproduction of sympatrophic hormones and sympatrophic hormones are the growth hormones that uh, play important role in our uh, body development or in the uh, in our uh, growth so uh, the next gland is thyroid gland that is affected by the or controlled by the pituitary gland uh, it uh, functions are uh, major functions are regulation of the blood metabolism uh, we have uh, already discussed the respiration process uh, right now uh, so uh, all the process of respiration are controlled by the thyroid gland and it consists of two loops uh, it uh, it's situated uh, below the larynx and it produces uh, three hormones uh, the one is uh, t4 uh, and other is uh, uh, t3 and the last one is calcitonin the t4 means it containing uh, four iodine atom molecules while uh, the t, uh, t3 means it is containing a uh, three iodine molecules uh, <clears throat> these act on the glucose and increase in the body metabolism so uh, it is also uh, mentioned in the functions that it is a regulation a help in the regulations of body metabolism and what is the metabolism metabolism means uh, the regulation of respirations or the production of atp molecules so the glucose molecules uh, breakdown uh, is affected by the uh, more production of thyroid hormones uh, that increase uh, the body metabolism of the human. It is also worked with the somatotrophic hormones. As we grow, uh, our body gets um, require more nutrients and uh, more food uh, to uh, uh, to require. For, uh, we can say that uh, to maintain our health and uh, uh, to uh, do some work body appropriate so it also work with the somatotrophic hormones uh, to maintain the development and growth of the body it is also responsible for stress and cold condition it work in the uh, sympathetic nervous system as uh, uh, if we have a have an exam and uh, we are uh, in a situation that uh, it uh, inducing us in more pressure so this hormone will be the response for this stress and uh, in winter or cold conditions uh, to produce more uh, heat in the body uh, these hormones uh, will be responsible for the production of more heat, heat uh, against the cold conditions so cause cell differentiation and growth that both are the process of body development differentiation and the growth while uh, in the uh, amphibians uh, that have metamorphosis during the early life stage uh, in which uh, the body first develop into the larva form and uh, then into the pupal form pupa form uh, this process is called as metamorphosis so body is converting or changing its shape from one uh, shape to another uh, in the frog so uh, this process uh, is done by the thyroid gland uh, 
some of the disorder of this thyroid glands are may be due to the overproduction of thyroxine and uh, some may be of uh, underproduction or low production of the thyroxine. Uh, if there will be the higher production of thyroxine, we will call them hyper. Hyper means uh, more production. Thyroidism means uh, thyroid hormones. If there will be the more production of thyroxine in the body, that will be called as hyperthyroidism. If there will be the low production of thyroxine in the body, that will be called as hypo. Hypo means low and thyroidism means the hormones of thyroid gland. So the low production of thyroxine in the body will be called as hypothyroidism. Some uh, disease that have been uh, caused by the uh, thyroid gland uh, are here. Uh, the one is grave disease. Uh, in this disease, uh, more production, uh, this is caused by the more production of uh, thyroxine in the body. If we have uh, more production of thyroxine in the body, uh, there will be some symptoms that can be seen easily. Uh, one of them from is a bulging eyes and uh, there will be the more sweat on the body. As we said that uh, this hormone is controlling our, the, our metaboli uh, metabolism. When there will be the more thyroxine in the body, uh, there will be the more breakdown of glucose molecule. And when there will be the more breakdown of glucose molecule, there will be the uh, uh, large amount of energy will be entered into the bloodstream. So when blood get more uh, energy from the food, uh, it got uh, high temperature and there will be the increase in the blood rate. So there, uh, there may be the a chance of cardiac failure that is because by the increase in the blood rate that has been induced by the more production of thyroxine uh, hormones in the blood. So this process is also called as exothermic greater. Exo means outside. Thalamic means this is the uh, uh, this is our greater uh, our neck uh, front. So uh, this is also called as exothermic greater. Uh, the grave disease is due to the overproduction of thyroxine. While uh, there is another disease that is called as creatinism, this is the this is due to the low production of thyroxine in the blood. This causes the abnormal development of the body. As we said that uh, the thyroxine uh, hormones work with the somatotrophic hormones for the growth and the differentiations of cell. If there will be no production of thyroxine, there will be no pro uh, production of smetrotrophic hormone and the body will be uh, developed into the abnormal form. There are some symptoms that can be seen in uh, affected uh, men that are scary hairs or that thick yellowish scaly skin uh, that mean low blood in the uh, blood vessels. That's why the skin will be uh, showing a yellow color. And uh, there may be the mental retardation. Mental retardation means there will be uh, uh, there will be no uh, growth or differentiations of that cell that, uh, that have been uh, produced or uh, that uh, have to work for the uh, production of another hormones that have to uh, work with and uh, they uh, may affect the growth of uh, another gland. So, the tendency later life due to the iodine shortage, if uh, this is uh, creatinism uh, is due to the low production in the early life, when uh, uh, it may be called as uh, in the state of uh, childhood while if a man grow properly and uh, in later life he get a limited amount or a low amount of iodine in the diet that may cause uh, the disease and this called as uh, myxodema. 
because uh, when the person get low iodine uh, low iodine in the food uh, he get uh, excess fats on the body and the body weight of the person increase and this uh, state is called as mesodema symptoms of keratinisms are puffiness of hands and skins in this state uh, there will be the more soft skin of the uh, person can be uh, they are touched and it can be seen okay the third hormone that is produced uh, sorry the third hormone that is uh, produced by the thyroid gland is a calcitonin calcitonin uh, it coming from we can uh, uh, guess from its name calcium so this is uh, the hormone that is may be uh, induced by the pro, uh, low or high production of calcium ion so calcitonin produce when there will be the high amount of calcium in the blood so uh, when there will be the high amount of calcium in the blood that disturb our calcium metabolism in the uh, body uh, always there will be always uh, a maintenance uh, in the body about the uh, every ions so uh, when more calcium ions uh, streams in the blood that disturbs our calcium metabolism in the blood and calcitonin works antagonistic to the parathormones uh, antagonistic means uh, they are work, uh, they work e, uh, against each other parathormones uh, is produced by the parathyroid gland and uh, this produce a hormone that is called as parathormones and this is produced by the low level of calcium ion in the blood while the calcitonin is produced by the high amount of calcium in the blood so from this uh, we can uh, uh, we can see that both of uh, have different conditions in the uh, blood form so uh, parathormones uh, is induced when the when there will be the low level of calcium in the blood when there will be the low level of calcium in the blood that cause a production of parathormones and the parathormones will uh, act as it extract the calcium ion from our bones and we say, uh, we know that uh, our bones have calcium carbonate molecules and calcium phosphate molecules so uh, when the calcium ion from the bones come out that lead to the uh, formation of rickets uh, that is the disease of bones or that may be the uh, demineralizations of the bones demineralizations means uh, there will be the breakdown of calcium carbonate uh, in the bone and the calcium ion will be uh, sent into the blood stream the next Can you repeat that please okay. which one Hey, teacher, can you repeat? Um, I have a student, I have a question, the last part. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Uh, I said that calcitonin work antagonist to hormones. Calcitonin produced when there is a high of calcium in the blood, while the parathormone, while the parathormone well, the parathormone induced when there will be the low level of calcium in the blood. So, when the low level of calcium in the blood, it causes the production of parathormones. When the parathormones produce in the blood, it will extract calcium from the bones. And we know that bones have calcium carbonate ions or molecules. So this parathormones will uh, break down the calcium carbonate into ions and the calcium ion will be sent into the bloodstream. So our uh, bones will have low amount of calcium ion that will generate a situation that is called as rickets and the rickets is a disease of 
bonds that mainly found in the uh, that occur uh, into the females or uh, that may also be related to the demineralizations of the bonds that uh, i said that when the parathormones act on the calcium carbonate it will uh, form uh, calcium ion and the carbonate ion in the bone and the calcium ion will be sent into the bloodstream so this is the demineralizations of the bone the next one is uh, pancreas and pancreas is a major gland of the all of the glands of the our body so uh, it is uh, both endocrine and as well as exocrine it uh, work as both endocrine as and exocrine gland function uh, the functions of uh, pancreas is to produce insulin and the glycogon uh, glycogon sorry this is not a glycogen this is a glycogon insulin and glycogon into the bloodstream uh, help to keep the level of glucose in the blood stable so both of these hormones insulin and glucagon uh, help in the uh, maintenance of glucose uh, maintenance in, the, in our body pancreas have two cells the one is alpha cell uh, that are small in number while the other cells are beta cells that are large in number or we can say that their uh, their quantity are much than the alpha cell so the alpha cell produce glucagon while the beta cell produce insulin insulin decrease glucose level while the glucagon increase it so uh, both of these working antagonistic to each other because insulin decreasing the glucose level glucose level so both working against each other so these are antagonistic each other there are some diseases that may be caused by the uh, imbalance amount of the pancreas uh, hormones that are some uh, diabetes mellitus that is caused when the uh, insulin production in the body is uh, deficient or may be uh, affected by the uh, some mutations so when the uh, pancreas not produce insulin there will be the high amount of glucose into the blood that will convert glycogen molecule into the glucose molecule and blood will have more glucose in it so that will generate a condition uh, that is called as diabetes mellitus and uh, in this state we uh, we can uh, say that blood will have more amount of glucose and there will be the uh, more uh, uh, blood rate or we can say that hypertension in the blood and next is an adrenal gland and uh, adrenal gland we say that it is uh related to the kidney uh, adrenal mean related to kidney so adrenal gland are found on the upper side of the kidney and they are <clears throat> they produce a hormone that is uh, known as adrenaline and it is also called as uh, norepinephrine uh, uh, they regulates uh, the amount of uh, salts in the body or that may also work in the stress conditions of the body and all the metabolisms their hormones are adrenaline that also called as epinephrine uh, how its work is uh, it dilates the blood vessels while the noradrenaline or norepinephrine constrict the blood vessels so both of these are working against each other uh, that's why these are also are antagonistic to each other and the, the uh, cortical gland of the uh, adrenal cortex 
produce a hormone that is called as glucocorticoid and another one is mineralocorticoid and the last one is aldosterones glucocorticoid and mineralocorticoids both uh, work in uh, the production of uh, glucocorticoid uh, work in the production of uh, energy in the body and that also uh, uh, effect to the high uh, blood rate or uh, high uh, increase in the temperature of the body while the mineralocorticoid work uh, with the high productions of calcium uh, or maybe the ions in the body while the aldosterone or aldosterones uh, work as uh, it provides the secondary characteristics uh, to males and females We say that aldosterone, uh, our voice uh, relation between the male and female is uh, done by the aldosterone. So the first is that is caused by uh, production or production of glucocorticoid or cortical uh, or maybe the adrenal glands. Uh, in Addison disease, Destruction of adrenal cortex occur. Uh, this is the upper Hello, portion of. Hello. Oh, yes. Can you repeat that, please? The hormone topics. Hormone topics. Okay. Thank you. Uh, these are the hormone. These are the hormones that released by the adrenal cortex. Adrenal. The kidney has two parts. One is. Uh, medulla well the uh, inner is cortex so there are uh, two hormones released by the both of the part the one is cortex while the uh, while the inner is med medulla the outer part of the kidney is called as cor uh, cortex while the inner part is called as medulla medulla means inside or between the so the upper side that produces hormones are called as adrenaline and it is also called as epinephrine the work uh, the function of adrenaline is, is to dilate blood vessels this work as uh, when uh, we have uh, blood in the vessels it work as to dilate them or uh, open the blood vessels so that the blood can pass easily through the vessels and the noradrenal uh, noradrenaline or norepinephrine work as it constricts the blood vessels uh, that may be in the case of more production of the uh, heat in the body uh, the last one hormone produced the inner part of the kidney that is uh, we uh, we say that uh, sorry cortical cortex of the body that is cortical and they produce a hormone that is glucocorticoid uh, this Three all are types of cortical hormones. The one is glucocorticoid, uh, another one is corticoid, and the uh, last. <clears throat> energy in the body. We can uh, have more production. High in blood, the glucocorticoid. And similarly, uh, when the mineral uh, it, uh, increase body or in the blood vessels, while the aldosterone work as it uh, gives the secondary characteristics between male and female. Uh, one of them is their hairs and uh, we can also uh, say that uh, the uh, voice tones of the male and females uh, apart that uh, their uh, hormones that overproduction uh, cortical gland one is uh, in, uh, 
the upper part is destroyed by the more production cord the uh, uh, Elias, do you hear me? Um, okay, guys. Um, the class, the class is is done. Is is, is closed. Okay. Um, so be planning for tomorrow. Let me um, let me try to connect you with the with Elias on the teacher. Okay. Oh, Elias. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Um. Thank you. you, want, you have so the, the for down the class, close the class. Okay. Sorry, uh, I, your voice is not clear. Yes, you have one one more minute, okay? And close the class. Okay, you have to, to finish out the class now because we have more one hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, can I start now? Just just one minute and close, okay? Because the class just, are, uh, three, the class just three just three slides are remaining. And that is almost ended. Yeah, you can continue with the, uh, you know, with the class on um, uh, tomorrow on the same time, okay? Uh, sorry, I, your voice is not clear here. Uh, you can, please, can you write in the chat box? Do you hear me, uh, Elias? Uh, no, your voice is not clear to me. Okay, or five more minutes, okay? Okay. okay. Mm, the recent disease is called and that consequence may be based of action and the loss of salts. Uh, the muscle action we said in the skeletal muscles that may be uh, got weak in the uh, destruction of adrenal cortex. Uh, another disease that is caused by the low production of uh, cortex hormones. Uh, this is called as Cushing disease. And in this form, excess cortical hormones pro uh, production result in the bone weakness. Addison disease caused the uh, weakness of muscle, while the Cushing disease caused the uh, weakness of bonds. So the next hormone that is uh, ovaries, uh, sorry, these are the glands that produce the hormones uh, in the female and this produce, uh, their uh, main function is to uh, reproductive organ found in the woman that produce eggs. Their main uh, function is to uh, produce an egg. Also, they also secrete estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen work in the uh, productions of, uh, sorry, in the uh, inductions of milk, while the progesterone, also called as birth hormones, and uh, it induces the uh, emplacement of uh, egg to the uterine of the uh, vagina, while which control the ovulation in the and the menstrual cycle. So this is uh, a simple diagram of the ovary and these are the follicles and uh, when the luteum. 
and the corpus luteum will see uh, the hormone as progesterone and progesterone then will uh, help into the uh, more uh, uh, implementations and into the continuity of the birth the other are testes and these are the male reproductive gland of the uh, males and they help into the production of sperm that is uh, produced by a hormone that is called as testosterone and these are produced by the uh, set oil cells and uh, by the leading cells in the seminiferous tubules of the uh, testes so these also provide a male characteristics to the uh, male while the estrogen provide female characteristics to the female and uh, interaction of glands how they work uh, in our brain uh, we have a hypothalamus that work with the uh, endocrine system and with the help of hypothalamus uh, all the maintenance of feedback mechanism uh, is controlled by the uh, uh, hypothalamus we can say that uh, the production of one hormone or the inhibition of one hormone is controlled by the uh, hypothalamus secretions when a signal generate in the uh, uh, in the gland or stimulus site uh, by the uh, hypothalamus and then uh, uh, give signal to the pituitary gland so that it can release the hormones uh, that can uh, affect the uh, targeted sites to perform their action so this is all about today topics if you have any questions you can let me know uh, about that hey guys do you have some question because remember no uh, question please uh, no question okay you can continue but, um, we have two more minutes okay um teacher you can close the glass now, or if you want one more minutes, you can continue, okay? But this time is over time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just close the class or finish the class or, you know, actually one more minute because it's, yeah? Do you want to close the class right now? Yeah, Sorry. Yes. Uh, you're, I, I, I'm not, I'm not uh, you finish the class now. Not getting you. Please, can you, please yeah, can you, you can write in the out. chat box so I can understand you? Yeah, you can finish the class right now because um, it's, um, now it's more, you know, it's one hour for class. And it's more one hour. So right now it's 14 minutes. But, um, you, and the next class, you can continue, you know, with the, with the same topics, okay? We want to close the class right now. Sorry, I... Uh, so you hear me? Yeah, I... Uh, you can... Uh, you have my distance, so... And the voice is not... not. Uh, uh, listen, you have to close the class right now. You have to finish the class. Okay. And next, um, and the next, um, and the next class, you're going to continue with the same topics. Okay. Do you hear me? Your yeah. voice is not clear. Can Can you call me on the WhatsApp? Yeah. Try to review your um uh, the chat. Okay. Yeah, you can write here, please. You have to finish the class right now. Finish the class. Do you hear me, guys? Oh. Guys, do you hear me? I think your voice is not clear to me. Uh, I I will call you to on the WhatsApp. 
I'm not getting what you are talking. We're going to close the class, okay? Elias. Yes, miss. Okay, uh, because um, I think the teacher don't, don't hear me, but we have to close the class right now, okay? Okay, miss. Do you hear me, right? Mm. Do you hear me, yes? Yes, yes, uh, yes, miss. Okay, uh, uh, Elias, uh, we have to close the class, okay, because the class for each class is one hour. Okay, okay. We have okay. more uh, okay. more than the time, but is you know this um is for a class. But next the, the next class you can continue with the same the same topics. Okay. 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 Hey guys, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, Miss. Bye, bye, teacher. Thank, thank you. So you. And enjoy. The day. <laughs> Have a wonderful day for all of you, okay? Okay. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Elias. Thank you for the time. Thank you for the explanation. Bye, Miss. Bye, Bye teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.